Hi guys, Evie here. As promised, I'm here to show you a first day guide of the newly announced Nail Studio feature. I will go over 15 tips to help you get the most out of our Nail Studio while not wasting any additional currencies. Like in my previous videos, I have listed all the studio currencies on the left side, so it's easier for you to understand what I'm talking about. If you have trouble understanding some of the terms I used in this video, please check out my comprehensive guide on the nail salon for detailed explanations, as this is sort of like the second episode of my complete guide. I'm going to first start by correcting something I mentioned in my complete guide video. I said you could hire an employee for dailies when you reach level 7, but it's actually not the case. I made a new account and tried out how the first day works as it's been so long since we got the nail studio on the CN servers. You have to be level 9 to hire an employee. So I'm really sad about this because I'm lazy and I don't like doing nail dailies manually. But it's fine, we'll reach level 9 pretty quickly. Okay, let's now move on to the guide. I'm going to tell you some tips on what to do on the first day so you could progress faster, what to unlock and what to exchange for getting the most out of any currency spent. Number one, you will want to log into the game as soon as possible because the faster you level, the more nail coins or tokens you can get per minute. The more coins you get, the faster you can level the studio. You will be getting some nail shapes, random decorations, and polishes when you level up the first few times. Number 2. Do VIP customers' nails as soon as possible as they gave you a lot of coins to level up your studio. Number 3. Constantly check the bottom right corner because you don't want your passive earnings to fill up. When it fills up, you won't earn any coins passively. Number 4. Constantly check the top right corner. As I've mentioned before, you always want to level up your studio when you can, because you will lose the surplus coins if you suddenly claim too much from the bottom right corner. You will still get the currencies you can use to unlock nails, but the surplus won't be counted into the level up experiences, like this clip shown right here. I claimed 43k coins and it filled up the experiences for level 3, but it did not go towards experiences needed for level 4. Number 5. I mentioned in my complete guide that you want to pile as many items as possible on the customers, but it's different on the first day. Since you want to expand the number of coins you can get per minute, you want to do your customers' nails as fast as possible on the first day to get more out of the passive earnings. Number 6. In the nail salon feature, make sure to only unlock the main branches for each nail set needed to level up your shop. Save up your currencies for this UR yellow nail set for when your studio reaches level 10. Then, unlock the set fully when you can most likely after level 40, to boost your nail styling power. Number 7. I know I mentioned this in my previous video, but this is something only people who have been playing Shiny Nikki for years will know. Not because we're experienced, but we've all made this mistake. The tutorial will prompt you to buy the SSR set in Hell's Nail Shop, because it's the only unlocked set but you don't have to unlock the two other SSRs in order to unlock the UR. You can start buying packs for the UR manicure when your nail studio reaches level 8. So, do not buy the SSR sets first, like all of us. You actually never have to buy them if you don't like them that much. It will take about 88 days to complete the UR set. You can get the SSR faster, but I personally think UR is more worth it because it's stronger when you fully unlock the side branches. Number 8. Start buying these UR material packs as early as possible when you have enough house gift vouchers so you could unlock branches of the UR pavilion nail sets faster. Don't ever buy the SSR and SR packs as they're a waste of coins since you will complete the full branches when you try to pull for UR sets in the permanent pavilion. Number 9. Don't get too excited and start pulling in a nail pavilion right away because your UR won't be as strong as SSR manicure sets when you only unlock the main branch for your UR. It is not cheap to fully unlock pavilion UR sets. My other video has a detailed breakdown of the costs. Number 10. 
nail pavilion sets score higher than built-in nail sets when unlocked fully. Number 11. Unlocking full branches will only influence the score for this certain set. Your manicure archiving bonuses and how many recolored nailed items you can get. So don't panic about fully unlocking everything if you do not have that many currencies. Number 12. Save up some currencies for when your nail studio level up to 12 and 14 because you're required to unlock SSR manicure sets for these. If you've been unlocking the UR manicure like crazy, you will get stuck on these levels. So only consider fully unlocking your UR set after level 14. Number 13. Pick the right name for your studio because you won't be able to rename it for at least a year. The devs recently updated the CN servers so we can purchase renamed cards for the nail salon. But I don't think you can rename salons on the Japanese server. So I don't know which version we will be getting on global. Number 14. You can get another type of nail pack similar to the designer's reflection shadow crystals. You will be able to decompose the nail dupes you get in the pavilions once you've pulled enough dupes to unlock all branches of a nail set. A UR dupe can be decomposed into 5 packs, an SSR to 2 packs, and an SR to 1 pack. You can spend 50 of these packs to get a certain UR dupe to level up the side branches, spend 20 to get an SSR dupe, and 10 to get an SR dupe. Number 15. You could unlock built-in manicure sets later in the game to get their set completion pink gem rewards when you're in desperate need of gems, but only a lot later in the game when you have more than enough currencies to unlock your studio's level up requirements. Alright, that is it for this video. I hope my tips were helpful. Thank you so much for watching and your amazing support. See you guys next time. Bye!